Hey everybody, welcome back! The man of 60 seconds both in bed and in game. <laughs> no, but really. 60 second challenge, what do we have for today, Falcon? Well, I'm glad you're asking after that really embarrassing reveal on my part. When we're doing the no items challenge, that's the one, sorry. You guys suggested a challenge where I take nothing but my family, food, and water to the shelter. Now, with this type of challenge, I'm gonna spin it a little bit. We cannot take any item with us. Now, when we're in the shelter and we eventually send people out to scavenge, if we find items, then we could use them. But going into the shelter initially, no items, only family, food, and water. Falcon, that's the challenge. And also, by the way, in case you guys are wondering why these episodes have been a little bit less frequent recently, um, I enjoy the game still a lot, believe me. But um, the DLC isn't too far off from now. I know the developers told me about mid July to late July, so I don't necessarily want to record a bunch of these and get stuck with a backlog. So that's the reason why I've been kind of um, recording this a bit less frequent, but for sure realize that when the DLC hits, I'm going to be right on it. So definitely look forward to that. Anyway, let's get into the game. Alrighty, so I haven't played this in a while, so I need to get my bearings back here. We have two water over here. We have water and food over here. So we could basically start off with the restroom, come down over here and grab the water, run to the shelter, drop that off. Then we could come over here, we have food, more water. Remember, if I grab an item by mistake, I, j I could grab it, but I can't use it. And the only items we're allowed to use are the ones that we actually find on scavenging trips. So that's going to be the challenge for here today, because otherwise we will have absolutely no chance of survival. And obviously these challenges, even though they're difficult and they're actually really hard to actually complete, uh, I do want to give it a, ch a sense of like, you know, hey, we could possibly win just by some sheer luck alone. But obviously, for the most part, most of the challenges have been just for fun because let's be honest here, we haven't really won a special challenge. Uh, we've beaten the game a few times on camera now, but we have not completed like a, a challenge completely. But these have been mostly for fun and it does seem that a lot of you guys are enjoying these challenges for sure. And I, I, I'm grateful for that because, you know, I'm enjoying the game a lot. And for now, until DLC comes out, we kind of have to make up our own challenges. And that's the reason why I'm kind of going with these, because, you know, you guys are really into it. You guys are dropping suggestions all the time, and that's um, really cool on your end. So let's see here. What do we have? We have more water. Remember, we can grab items, but don't use them. Assuming I could, you know, ignore not using it. So I think that's just about everything. We probably left one more water behind, I want to say. No, I think that's everything. Did we grab everybody, though? We grabbed Timmy? Yes, I think. I know we grabbed Dolores and we grabbed Mary Jane. I believe we grabbed everybody and all the food and water available to us. So let's see how this goes. Let's see here. Day one, I see a lot of food and water as to be expected. Day one should really have hold nothing for us, but let's find out how we did in terms of water and food. Two and two. That's actually pretty good. Plus two and two, I should say anyway. Alrighty. So remember, the challenge is Falcon, no items coming in, which we have already met, so that's good. But we can use items, assuming we scavenge them or get them from some random event, although all the events we're going to be getting right now, we will not be able to be able to partake in because we have no items to actually initiate them. So, Now, with this type of challenge, it's going to be really crucial that RNG decides not to screw me over. If we get any, ch any sort of like challenge where um, we have a tendency to get sick early, that could be really bad because we have no medkit and we have no way to deter it from happening. So, you know, any sort of bad event right now is uh, basically doom until we can get some medkits of items. So here, alrighty, see, this is what I meant. This is terrible, we can't sleep. So, already we have an event where, for, more than likely, a lot of people are going to get either, either tired or crazy. Nobody's crazy, luckily, but um, they are tired, so there you go. Alrighty, luckily that's not the worst case scenario. We could live with them being tired, it'll take them a few days to actually get, you know, rested up, but at least they're not, you know, sick. If they're sick, there's no way to heal it. Now, right now, day 5 will be water day for sure. My big concern right now is making it day 10. And what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and get water right now. We're not reading the events because, you know, if I've read them once, I've read them a thousand times, and especially without any sort of items to actually complete the events, there's really no point in reading these events right now. We have the cockroach event right now, which is actually pretty bad because cockroaches initially don't make you sick, but after a while, they actually will make us sick. So this is a really bad event to have with um, no item challenge right now, so I'm worried about that. So my really big hurdle right now is getting to day 10 without using any food just yet. Um, yeah, we're gonna... I'm not sure what's gonna happen right now. We have no radio to kind of draw our mind at ease, so we're gonna probably go... Oh, nobody's crazy, thankfully. Okay. Did you guys just have a talk or something? Good, just talk it out. Anyway, back to what I was saying. My main concern right now is making it day 10 without using any food yet. I say that because... Sometimes you can make it up to day 10 without necessarily getting sick from not eating. Because remember, no food makes people sick on occasion as well. 
if we can make it to day 10 without getting sick from no food, then we'll be fine. But if we hit day 9, right now it's coming up, and we get sick, that person is basically just about dead. Although, we have a trumpet outside. What? The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player who had probably never ever heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the Merry Men in. Oh no! Merry Men, fuck those guys. Absolutely not, my friend. Nope, 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 no. You guys stay out there. You're not coming in here. Uh, day 9, nobody is sick. Good. If we can make it to day 10 without getting sick, we should be fine. Remember, the Merry Men will actually pillages of water and food. Because even though we don't have a lot of items, we have a lot of food, so they will take those for sure. So, um, we had to say no to that one. The cockroaches are actually gonna start expanding, which is actually pretty bad because I have a feeling we're gonna get sick soon. Ted is sick already. God damn it, that's what I was worried about. Well, Dolores and Timmy seem to be fine right now. So today's gonna be water and food day for sure. So, we weren't able to weather the storm with sickness, although Ted probably, you know, for all we know, he got sick from the roaches. I mean, let's not say it was just because of food, but there is that. So we heard... What is this supposed to be? Oh, is that the telemarketer? It is the telemarketer. No, we can't send anybody out there right now. Not for a telemarketer call. There's never usually anything good that happens from that, so we might as well ignore it. Oh, that's swell. Two sick people, one's crazy and sick, and the um, Dolores is the only one that's in fine state right now. Alrighty, wow. This might be the shortest run of all time. I'm telling you, this run is actually really RNG-based. If you could, you could probably survive it for quite a bit with all the food and water, but the problem is um, making sure that RNG doesn't throw any event at you that's going to really cause you any issues early on. And with the Roach event, that was a really bad start for us. Uh, alrighty. Well, we probably have to start send somebody in there. Is that a... It's an earthquake event. Well, <laughs> game, joke's on you. I have no items for you to break. Although I'm pretty sure the game's already laughing at me, considering the fact that I came in here with this challenge of no items. It's kind of like, you know, Falcon, I don't really care if you have no items because you have, or I don't care that I can't break anything because you have no items, dog. And you know what? The game is right. I have no items. I can't do much about anything right now. All right, so when do you think we should send people out there? Maybe day 15? Would that be pretty ideal? Although we should probably just send somebody out now. I mean, do I want to send a sick person out? There's my real question. Uh... Uh, the cockroach roommates are continuing to multiply. Not really good. But let's see here. Despite his need for a nap, Ted could try his best on the surface. Laura says she's fine, but we're not sure. Timmy's in good health and full of optimism. All right, Timbo. I'm sorry to say, my son, because of your optimism, even though you're batshit insane and you're sick, you're going out there, my friend. That's the only way about it, because you need to come back with something good for us. At this point, we could basically just write off a few people. If Timmy could come back with some items, we have to kind of keep Dolores safe. She's the only one in, you know, perfect condition right now. So, um, day 14, nobody gets anything just yet. Timmy's gonna be going out there, so Timbo? Timmy Tim? Good luck, my son. Hopefully everything works out for you, even though you're insane. I'm pretty sure Dolores isn't too happy about me sending her sick and insane son out there, but so be it. Dolores, you got those legs for days all the time, baby. That's all I could say about you. So if you want to be mad at me, go ahead and be mad at me, but that's okay. Uh, today's gonna be water and food day for everybody for sure, though. There you go. Alrighty. Turns out, Mr. Freeman, yeah, Freeman, you were right about those roaches, but you know what? I can't do much about those roaches now, can I? They're part of us now. Oh, they are part of making Dolores sick, too. Alrighty. You guys are geared up for the, sm the shortest episode of all time because that's what's gonna happen right now. This is not looking good at all. <laughs> who came up with this idea? I forgot who's the one who suggested this idea. I know it's a few people, as a matter of fact. But you, my friends, have a sick sense of humor. And speaking of a sick sense of humor, Mary Jane is uh, pretty sick, both physically and mentally, as you can tell over there. Alrighty. We have a uh, zombie Dolores as well. Still as hot as ever, though, so that's okay. Uh, we can't do much about this trade either because we got no items. Can't do much about it. Day 18. Timmy, are you ever coming back? I hope you come back, man. <laughs> I could have really used a medkit on somebody. Alrighty. Ted's hungry and thirsty. Everybody probably is, but you guys have to wait till day 20. You guys know the routine by this point. We've been through the song and dance one too many times. Is Timmy coming back is the real question right now. Uh, my bet would be no. That's my bet. But, you know, I've been wrong before. I, I've been wrong many a times, as a matter of fact. If I was right pretty often. Timmy? <gasps> Timmy's back! Oh, good God, son! Oh, everybody's crazy! Guys, we got the achievement! Cuckoo's Nest! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Alrighty, well, hey, if nothing comes out of this, at the very least, we get an achievement, which is Cuckoo's Nest and everybody's batshit insane. We were so close to achieving this, um, achievement. <laughs> achieving this achievement, you get it? Anyway, we were so close to getting this achievement last time on the last run, but, um, everybody had to be insane at the same time, is what we found out. Timmy got back a lot of stuff, though. Let's actually read up on what he got here. He came back with food, came back with water, the map, the insecticide spray, the cards, and that's about it. Well, I mean, that's still a lot of items considering all, you know, everything. Considering we had nothing, that's a lot of items. A medicate would have obviously been good because it would at least, you know, healed somebody, and we'd have probably kept this run going still, but more than likely now, we're gonna probably die. But apparently the wasteland is no match for my insane daughter. So hey, you know what? Go right on ahead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't Timmy have to eat today? I'm pretty sure he does because he left one day before feeding day, so Timmy has to eat and drink today. Oh, wait a minute, it's day 20. Everybody has to drink and eat today. I forgot about that, oof. This would have been game over instantly just because I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, good God, that was scary. All right, everybody's got water and food, good. Um, did we send somebody out for, um, scavenging today? Did I choose that or did I miss that? No, no, we got it. All right, so Mary Jane is going out there now. Mary Jane, good luck. Medkid, Mary Jane. Medkid, please. We could definitely use that. Alrighty. So, um, we don't know if the radiation is gone or not because everybody's sick. So even if they come back, you know, sick, we're not sure if that's because of the illnesses that we acquired or because it's still radiated out there. But after day 20, I would imagine most of the time it's usually gone by then. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Hey, check this out. We can actually kill the bugs with the insecticide spray. Should we do this or should we hold on to the bug spray and use it on the medkit event, assuming we get a medkit? This is actually a really tough um, scenario right now. We could get rid of those roaches, but if we hold on to this bug spray and if we get a medkit, we could then use the medkit once, hope for the uh, bug spray event, and then use it again. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to go ahead and keep on to the bug spray for now, and we'll see what happens. Um, although... The problem right now is that my people are probably really close to dying, and that's obviously no good. I don't need to tell you that. Alrighty, day 23. Yeah, we have no radio for that, so I can't really do much about it. I like how Mr. Sockless is hanging out, too. Mr. Socko! Alrighty. That actually kind of <coughs> hurt my throat a little bit. I can't raise my voice too high. Every time I try to raise my voice high to either screech or make like a really weird high voice, it just fucks up my throat. I'm not sure why. I guess my voice is too deep as it is, so whenever I try to like elevate it, it doesn't really work out. Um, yeah, roaches, I am gonna have to have you guys hold on because um, I can't really kill you right now as much as I'd like to. I have to hope for Mary Jean to come back with the med kid. So, during breakfast, we realized that some of our rations were missing. Our first instinct was to blame communists, but we soon realized that the real culprit was in fact Timmy. Apparently, he's become completely paranoid. He keeps muttering about how he's starving him on purpose, and he's giving us real hostile looks. Oh. Oh, good God. The last thing I'm gonna do is actually piss off an insane person, I would imagine. Alright, so everybody gets food and water today, even though Timmy just ate, apparently. An entire can by himself must be nice. We cannot kill those roaches, so we have to continue going forward for now. Mary Jane, are you coming back? Oh, Ted's done. Ted is Dunsky. Not much we could have done about Ted, though. He probably fell to the illness of had to imagine, though, right? Let's see, Ted, yeah, Ted's been sick for far too long, so he died from the illness. Mary Jane was supposed to be back, so Mary Jane's dead, too. Alrighty, guys, we are about to wrap up this episode really quickly because both Mary Jane and Ted are dead, and I'm pretty sure that Timmy and Dolores are not long for this world anymore. So we can't send anybody, send anybody out there. I mean, we could send Dolores out there. She says she's fine, but we're not sure. That's really uncertain. Um, our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant. You know what? At this point, sure, gamble away. Just gamble away. Maybe we'll get really lucky. If I had to imagine, we probably will not. But let's find out what we did here. We actually got two water from that event. Good. <laughs> I'll take it. But um, it's not going to really heal us now, is it? Can't send Dolores out there. You know what? At this point, let's just... Um, if we're going to do anything about anything at this run, I mean, we got the Cuckoo's Nest achievement already, which is actually really ideal. But at this point, we might as well kill those roaches. Fuck those roaches. They're the ones who caused this issue to happen. Had those roaches not manifested, we probably would have not all gotten sick, and this run could have probably had better results. So, um, SRV Roach Talk underscore S3? Is that on purpose? Like, the game developers being silly, or is that like some sort of weird debug? <laughs> you get it, bug spray debug? <laughs> hey, I'll be here all night. Anyway, 
Let's um, stop joking around. My people are dying. This is not a joking matter, Falcon. Skip forward here. We can't really do much about that radio. Not long for this world. Day 29. I'm surprised every time, every day, every day that we go forward and this is the end, I keep getting surprised right now because we should be dying already. Let's be honest here. Alrighty, what do we have here? Uh, day 30 is next water and food. You know what? Fuck day 30. Have it now. Have it now. If it means you guys prolonging your existence a bit longer, we'll do it. And um, check this out. We didn't get, we didn't think we could get a chance to increase our food supply by simply a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on the door today. Two cans of food. I'm pretty sure with this guy you always lose because he's actually like a really good gambler, i.e. card counter maybe. And yeah, we lost. We, we lost the food. And, you know, I just... I'm, at this point, I'm just kind of taking risk because let's be honest here. We're not really long. Still. Um, it's going to be the water chip guy. Fallout event. Yes, you could have water, I suppose, right? Yeah, we have enough water. This will give us the gas mask. I mean, at this point, the gas mask is kind of really obsolete, but sure. You know what? I will take that gas mask off of you. I'm really surprised they're still alive. I am really surprised they're still alive. Alrighty, day 31. Uh, when we look closely at our map, we notice that someone had written a set of mysterious directions on one of the corners. Ah, I've done this one before. And they either get lost or they come back hurt and they lose the map. And if I send Dolores out there, I'm not sure she's coming back. So... You know what? Try it. Maybe we'll get lucky. And maybe we won't get lucky at all. Oh boy, what happened here? Let's read about it. Those map directions were actually a cruel joke. Or just a child's playful imagination. We found nothing and only wasted our afternoon running around. Timmy was very sick and there was nothing he could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never came back. We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been far too long. We didn't make it. These are our final words. There you go, guys. 32 days with only food and water to start off with. Um, had things gone differently, would we have survived? Maybe. Had we not all got sick at the same time? We probably could have maybe given it a run. I mean, Timmy went out and he actually got a bunch of items on his first um, expedition out there. So that could have really helped out and then maybe somebody else. You know, it's just a problem with the illness. If you don't have the medkit, it's probably really difficult. Or at least like some item to, you know, stave off one of the weird RNG events that could get everybody sick, much like happened to us. But there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Stick around. We might have another challenge before um, the DLC comes out. We might not. We'll see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And I will catch you next time.